Baseball from the Lone Star State. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Round Rock Express. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab, Andrew Haney. Oh, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score you know, four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not, when he's on the ball, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. That's off the mark. And a count is three and one. Now this is in the air down the line. Smith moving under this one. Makes the catch and there's one gone. And let's take a look at the lineup. They're facing a pitcher today who's prone to giving up homers. So we'll see. We might get some big swings here today. Yeah, I think the key, though, and the reason why he gives up those homers is that guys are locking in, they're aggressive, and they have a high confidence level. So I think if that's the approach these hitters take, with the stuff he's got there on the mound, yeah, there's a good chance that there'll be some balls that fly a long way. But you can't get too big in your swing. Otherwise, you'll be really frustrated after this one. In the air, center field. Ortega under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent that pace. The center, the center fielder, field. number two, Jonathan Daza. The pitch. No. And now it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Welcome back. Our starter in this one, Chase Anderson. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Bottom of the first. And now the here's a speed field. threat. Outfielder, right, right. Travis Jankowski. Jankowski. So now one and two. And there's a ball. Two, two. Anderson ready to work. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Exactly. Been a pretty rough start to this no series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Next offering in the dirt. And it's two and two. Inside, just missed. Tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. Did not go. Now this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Rafael Ortega stands in. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. The 
The 2 2. Up the middle. Datris flips it behind his back. Over to Rogers. Hey. Over to first. Safe. That is it. The third baseman. Here's Josh Young. The two on. Next offering misses down and away. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Rogers in position, and that will end the inning. We head to the second in Arlington. No score. Top of the second. Now it's Brendan Rogers. The second base. Brendan Rogers. Next pitch misses. Two, two and one. one. That one is oh. upstairs. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Smith racing over to make the catch. That is it. The first base is number 44. And now here is Elauri's Montero. Montero. Next offering upstairs. No score here in the second. Hit hard on the ground ashore. Tosses across the first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. That is it. The catcher, Austin wins. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Austin wins. Next pitch is outside. And downstairs. The wind of the pitch. Liner, base hit. Well, patience and discipline that, that, paid that, that, off right there as the he got into an advantage count. Sean. That's a good sound Sean. coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. Pitch misses. Now three and one. And a foul ball. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Payoff pitch. Goes down looking. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back. Here's the speed threat, Ezekiel Duran. The second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. The wind of the pitch. Duran tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. And here's the catcher, Sam Huff. 
went deep in the ball game last night. Popped up first base side. Squeezes it, and there's two away. Batting seven, the designated hitter. Justin Foscu digs in down. Righty delivers. Bounced out to short. Bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's Michael Tolia. The right fielder, number four, Michael Tolia. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The one two. Line drive, base hit. Around first, digging for two. Smith throws to second, but he's in there easily. He was all over that one. Doubled into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. He just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. And the batter will be the shortstop, Kyle Detris. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Jankowski gliding in towards the infield. Tracks it down for the out. One down. So up next, Jimmy Heron. Glide out his first time. Top of the third, no score. One, two. And a ball evens the count. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next one just misses. And the count's full. That's a really good take. Just a slow ground ball this time. The throw to first, Out. and they got him. Now that third base is warming Bernabel. Now the number two hitter, warming Bernabel. Two one now. No, that's it. Yonathan Daza in the on deck circle. Three one is on the way. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a ball popped up. Duran under this one. Makes the catch inning over. So they work around the leadoff double. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. And now the first baseman, Yoshi Tsutsugo. The first baseman. 
Kiyoshi. Sukuga. And that one gets down. Fair ball. And the leadoff man aboard. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now it's the shortstop, Jonathan Ornelas. 3-2, and it's ball four. He missed down low. That one hurts right there as they couldn't take care of the bottom of the order to start this inning. You turn the lineup over. Now this inning set up to be something big for this offense. And here is Travis Jankowski. Struck out swinging his first time. And the right-handers 3-1. Hard ground ball, base now. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Base is loaded, nobody out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Josh Smith now at the plate. The 1-1. One -one. Comes up empty, that's strike one two. At the belt and fires. On the ground to the left. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. He decides to hold on to it, and a run is in to score. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Now it's going to be Rafael Ortega. You know, this group of hitters do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. And that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off-speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard. Hard, have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Josh Young, the next to hit. He popped out his first time and fouled off. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Here's a one-two. Ground ball could be two. Over to second for one. Return throw to first, got him, double play, and that'll do it. One run in the inning, but they leave two. On to inning number four. The Express out front here, one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. Number two, Jonathan Daza. Kicks and fires. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Now bat. Second. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rogers. Fly to left his first time up. Swings and misses, and it's two and two. And a pitch. Ground ball left side could be two. Fires to second for one, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. And here's the first baseman, Lowry's Montero. 2-2. Two -two. That one missed. Why to kick the pitch? Softly hit the third. Throws across the diamond. That's out number three.
And welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And the leading off the bottom eight. of the fourth, Ezekiel Duran. Falling Ball behind two that. and one. Upstairs. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's the catcher to hit. Sam Huff. Fly to right his first time. Duran gets his lead at first with nobody out. Anderson checks the runner. Duran back easily. And here it comes. Ball. That's hard hit on the line. Bouchard calls it in, and there's one away. Yeah, the batter down. Now, now, Justin Foscu grounded out to short in his first trip. Next offering misses. Two and one. And he runner, deals. Runner. runner on the goal. In the air to left center. Bouchard gets under it. And there's two down. Now batting. Bat. First, first base baseman. Yoshi. Yoshi. Tsutsugo. And now the first baseman. Yoshi Tsutsugo. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Gonna count one and two. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Two two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the catcher, Austin Wins. And the pitch. Slapped foul. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Three balls, two strikes to count. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. And it's caught just in front of the wall. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. And now two and one. Action in the pen down there. Cody Bradford, the left-hander, up and throwing. Hearn, the power lefty, up as well. And a pitch. Way out front for strike two. That one out to right. Jankowski on his way over. Pulls it in for the out. The white right fielder, number four, Michael Tolia. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder. Michael Tolia doubled his first time up. The 1-1. One, one. 
That misses off the outside edge. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The 2 1. Yeah. That clips the corner. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. And now it's filled up. Tolia started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, no swing. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Man at first, stepping in, Kyle Datris. 0 for 1 with a fly out. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count, 1 and 2. Tolia, the runner at first with two gone. And now it's even up. It's a good take. The 2 2 now. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And now the lefty swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jonathan Ornelas. The one one. Good eye oh. right there. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jake Bird, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Gilbreth, the lefty, warming up as well. Next pitch is popped up. Bernabel has a beat on it and puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Like you, that was Number a good, 60. hard fastball with some right, nice right, right. ride up in the zone Check right there. Out. Hitter oh, looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Righty to the plate. Got it by him for the K. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Swing and a ball popped up, and it falls. And that keeps the inning alive. Now, Rafael Ortega will hit next. And a 2 1 on the way. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Left-hand batter waits. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Ball Good eye right there. Great RBI okay. spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The right-hander okay. gives up the two-out walk. They just keep handing out gifts, Boo. 
Were we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our presence is the present. So they turn to the lefty in this spot. Tie block. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Now, Josh Young. Two outs. Hammered. And this one could be extra bases. Smith headed for the plate. One run is in. Ortega coming home. Cut off. Now a throw home. It's offline. And he scores. And they're up by three. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. And now here is Ezekiel Duran. Next pitch is downstairs. Young at second with two down. That one fouled off. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Young around third. Here's the throw to the plate, but it's offline. He will score, and they lead by four. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. At the plate, Sam Huff. And a 1-1. One -one. And oh. another ball. The two on. Taps softly to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through five. The Express with the lead four to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the sixth. And now the DH, Jimmy Heron. Heron. The 2 1. That one hammered left field, way back there. And that one is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout, and they close the gap. It's 4 1. one got in the jet stream on a line drive we saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders which is usually bad news and all of a sudden they're back in this ball game manager out of the dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound Andrew Heaney gives way and a pretty good outing for him as he leaves with a nice lead new pitcher when we get back Cody Bradford takes over on the mound. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Here's the third baseman, warming Bernabel. Here's a 1-1. That's Whoa. a little bit low. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The pitch. No. With the big bats coming no. up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. The pitch. Swung on, popped up, left side. 
Makes the grab one away. Now that the center fielder. And now the center fielder, Yonathan Daza. The count two and one. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Now at the plate, Brendan Rodgers. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Here's a one-two. Up the middle, it's through for a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. One away, runners at first and third. And Lowry's Montero digs in now. The pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Runners are at the corners, one away. And it's filled up. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Ortega makes the grab. Runner tags for home. He's in on the sack fly, and it's now a two-run game. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Austin wins. Getting ready to hit. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Up the middle, Ornelas. Whips it to first. And the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Express lead it four to two. Welcome back. Leading off, Leading off Justin Foskey. The, the designated hitter. Justin you. On a line, base hit. So, man aboard, and here's the first baseman, Yoshi Tutugo. Ground ball left side could be two. Goes to second for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Now Jonathan. And here is Jonathan Ornelas. And a pitch. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He sends it out of here, and they add a run. It's 5-2. Sure, there's a big grin on his face right now, Boo. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. And now, Travis Jankowski. Line drive. 
And that's down a base hit. And that extends the inning. Josh Smith now at the plate. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. The one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 5 2. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back. Here's the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. Sean Bouchard. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. Got him swinging. He swung over top of the curveball. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then carry that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. The wind of the pitch. That one drifts inside. And that's in there at the knees. Kicks and deals. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling. You think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. And the batter will be the shortstop, Kyle Datris. Next pitch is outside. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one's in there. Now three and two. Activity in the bullpen. Jose Leclerc, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Three and two now. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And a payoff pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom of the inning, and now Rafael Ortega. The center fielder. Rafael Ortega. The wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, these guys showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers say their chase rate, or swings at pitches outside the zone, is under 25 percent, no, and down. I think that's a big reason why they're scoring runs. Two two on the way. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. Now about it. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Young. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. 
Next one misses all three. By not chasing out of the zone, they're getting good pitches to hit. When you can do that, you have a much better chance to screw up the baseball and do damage like they have so far. Out to short. Throw to first is in time. Two up, two down. Now back at the second base. Ezekiel. Durand. Two outs, base is empty. Ezekiel Duran, the next to hit. Two two now. Got him looking. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, Glenn Otto. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And a pitch. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's outside. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. One gone here. Well, this is no secret. That slider is going to be his go-to pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows it. It's a massive part of his arsenal, and he'll throw it a lot, and in pretty much any count, any situation, and he's going to look to punch guys out as well. I tell you what, the effectiveness of that slider is always a big key for him. Now the third baseman, warming Bernabelle. And the right-hander deals. And there's a ball. Just missed. Three one. One down, base is empty. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Jankowski snags it for the second out. Now back at the center field. So two down now, and here is Yonathan Daza. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Right-hander kicks, deals. Tapped out in front of the plate. Gathers and throws to first. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. The Express on top five to two. On the mound now, Jake Bird. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. And yeah, the batter now, Sam Huff, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Here's a 1-1. And that's in the dirt. And that one just missed off the outside edge. There's a strike. And he walked him. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. 
So now here's the DH, Justin Foscue. Ball to strike. And that one off the outside edge. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Gavin Hollowell up and throwing. Huff gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch downstairs. And that's ball three. Right-handed reliever. Good plate oh, four, appearance there. Four. Able to take the walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think now about. Now. The first base. Yoshi. Yoshi. So digging in, Yoshi Tutsugo. The 1-1. One, one. And that drops in for a strike. him swinging now bad, bad. two That's on with one out and now the shortstop Jonathan Ornelas he's already homered in this game one out runners at first and second The next well, offering misses, and the count's even at two. No, Just off the inside edge, and now filled up. Ground ball right side could be two. On a second, they get one, and it's a double play to end the inning. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning through eight full. The Express have the advantage five to two. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Jose Leclerc. A chance at his first save of the year. Brendan Rogers digs in now. The second base, Brendan Rogers. And the righty deals. And another ball. LeClerc. He's made a name for himself as a very effective reliever, but not really what you expect from a bullpen arm these days because he's not out there racking up K's. Righty delivers. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a pitch. In the air out towards right center. Jankowski going back on this one. Grabs it on the run. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Hard hit, right side. Tosses the first, out. and they're down to their last out. I think it's the deception and his ability to change arm angles and slots and give hitters different looks within one at bat. They're never able to get comfortable when you only see him once. A lot of times he has success. And here it comes. Hit hard. That gets through. So up next, Sean Bouchard. 
Ball to strike. The pitch. Slider misses outside. Got to be clever, too, when you don't have that lights-out stuff, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you got to know what you're able to do. Instead of focusing on what that hitter's strength is, stay with your strength and trust that you'll come out on top. And he deals. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Now all leave it up. In the air, left side. Smith under it. That's the ball game. Well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. For the, the Isotopes, two, two runs, runs seven, seven hits, hits, no errors. errors. They, they left, left five men on base. Head. The winning the pitcher, pitcher is Andrew Heaney. His, His record, record is now, is now one, one and oh. And oh. The, the loss goes to Chase Anderson. Anderson. He falls to oh and, and one. one. Time of the ball game, three, three hours, hours and four, four minutes. minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.